Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to call your PlayFab Azure Cloud Scripts from within inside Unity. Now before I show you how to do this, you're going to want to make sure that you already have your Cloud Script written, deployed to Azure, and registered on PlayFab. If you're not sure how to do this, then check out the other videos in this playlist where I explain how to write Cloud Scripts. Now if you already have this done, then you're going to want to go to your Unity project. Inside Unity, you're going to want to open up whichever script you want to call a PlayFab Cloud Script from. For me, I have this daily check-in script. Now to call a PlayFab Cloud Script, you're going to want to at least include using PlayFab and using PlayFab.CloudScript models. I also have the using PlayFab client models because I'm doing more with PlayFab than just calling Cloud Scripts inside this script. Now if you want to, you could create a dedicated function for calling a specific Cloud Script, and then you could call that function wherever you want in your script. But for me, I have this function, which is called the has checked in function. This function is doing more than just calling a Cloud Script, but down at the bottom of this function is where I'm calling my Cloud Script. Now the first thing that we do in order to call a Cloud Script is much like any of the other PlayFab requests. First we have to create a request variable, and the variable type for calling a Cloud Function is the execute function request. I'm then calling this variable Cloud Function, and I'm setting it equal to a new execute function request. Then in curly brackets we can set the request variables. The first variable is our function name. So I have function name equals, and then as a string, I have the function name. And you want to make sure for the function name that it's spelled exactly the same as you have it on PlayFab and Azure. We then want to set any function parameters if we have any that need to be passed in. And so I have function parameters equals new, and then in curly brackets, we can create a list of our parameters. And this part's pretty cool because for the parameter name, we can actually call it whatever we want, and it's much like creating a variable. My parameter name is amount, and I'm setting it equal to a value that I have for player data. But this could be the player's input or the player's score. But the name of the parameter value, so in my case amount, is actually very important to remember because when you're writing your PlayFab Cloud Script, in order to read in these parameters, we'll be using these same names. And the last variable that I'll set is the generate playstream event, and I'll set it equal to true. Now that we have our request created, we can send this request using the PlayFab Cloud Script API dot execute function. I'll pass in my request variable, so cloud function as the first parameter, and then we have our success callback function which I've called function success, and our fail condition callback function, which I've called fail. To create these two functions, you can actually select them, press Alt-Enter, and select the first option, which will automatically generate what these functions need to be. For the success function, this needs a parameter of type execution function result, and inside this function, I'm just debug.logging the results. But if you wanted to reward the player with something or show that some change was made, you could add that into this function. For the fail function, the parameter needs to be a PlayFab error. And in this function, I'm just debug.logging the error. Now, once you have all this, you can go ahead and save your script. And now when you test your game, whenever you get to that point in your game, where the function with the Cloud Script request is executed, you should be able to see your function executed successfully. To double check that this is working, you can go to your PlayFab dashboard and go to the PlayStreams tab, and you should be able to see a PlayStream event created whenever your Cloud Script is called. Now that's everything I'm going to cover in this lesson on how to call your PlayFab Azure Cloud Scripts from inside Unity. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Also make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date with all my latest videos. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.